I want to start this video or start this game off with developers. Look, everything's not maxed out. Everything is good. The moment you load the game up, it doesn't just like poke you in the eardrums. Right here, perfect. That's what it is. You're the real hero. You're the real champ. Talk. You are back, all the all of you. In fact, good. We are done for. If you end up like the others, try again. Find a way out of here. I mean. This is my first time here, so what's a thank you? Thank you for playing the deepest that different. Okay. I mean, I haven't played it yet, but you're welcome. Let's try it. So I'm a sucker for card games. Everyone knows. Anyone that has seen me stream, I'm a sucker for these type of roguelike card games. So I'm sure I'm going to absolutely adore this game. Um, I love games that hit like original spins on the genre too, so that's even better. You know what I mean? Years ago, in a calm, still night, the people of Dolmen slept. A blinding light erupted from the tallest tower. Within moments, it surrounded the entire city. The glowing dome heated up stone and metal, but the flames came a suffocating smoke. The king decided to move the whole city underground. Years passed by, thousands perished, law and order long forgotten. Somewhere deep below, the curse of undeath is released. To this day, the king and his royal guards desperately seek a solution. Interesting. Enter the name of your party. As one of the Royal Guard groups, you have led to your party into the darkest countless times over the years. Nothing but death awaits you. Even in death, you cannot find peace. The curse of undeath won't allow. Dead end after dead end, you endlessly roam the cold and damp quarters, hoping to find a way out of this misery. Booty chasers. It has to be the group of the booty chasers. Like, we have to. Normal run. A Victoria salvage a card and trinket to use during a quest run afterwards. Huh. Okay. I like his armor. I mean, it's classic armor, but whatever. Now, not available during beta. Not available during beta. Um, no modifiers. I guess we just go with the sewers. Falling system of dark and damp corridors under the city, built many centuries ago. Remember that catacombs? You know that those French catacombs? Dude, those are terrifying. I watched something yesterday about it. Terrifying. So, next round, keep eight block. Permanently increases your health by three after each chamber. Win three chambers to descend below. Okay, so let's go this one. Round one. It's a citizen. Four block and two strength for self. A citizen will gain four block and two strength, showcased by the text above it. Oh! Drag cards onto the citizen to attack it. Wait, I can cast Fireball, and I can... I really like the art style. And I can use a sword. I really like the art style a lot. Always show the status effects on the enemies. He's going, is he going to swing at me? Right click on all of your defend cards and prepare for the next round. Let's go. You're able to keep eight block for rounds around. And these will play out their intents. Press end round. Your strength is now lowered, decreasing your attack physical damage. Notice that the heal card has a special status on it, making it usable for only two draws. Right click on heal. Aha! I have healed myself. This is an intense to damage you for seven since you guys have eight block. You will avoid all damage. Press end round. They're my favorite game area. Went over there and also the Braves. But the Impolis is a big thing down there and some fun. Oh, nice. So now I just finished them off, right? Can I just finish them off? Yeah, let's finish them off. Dead. 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 Bye, citizen. Oh, even the death animation. Okay. Do I get all this? Five gold? Yes. Select card. Deal three damage. If not used, attacks a random enemy alive. Uh, attacks a random alive enemy. Oh. Warrior cards in hand increase damage by one. So if not used, it just stays inside of my hand. Okay. Buy information on who lurks below. Much appreciated. That sweaty old blacksmith is down there. Make sure make such a racket. That's what brings the dead back to I tell ya. So I'm facing the blacksmith next. 
Leech Collector. Five lock for self. Oh, he's cool. He's great looking. I love him. Okay, so let's keep this here. And then I'll end round. And it automatically gets used. That's cool. Okay, I like that card. Literally a free, a free, a free attack, basically. Shuffle three scale cards into your hand. Ooh. All right, let's head down this way. Oh no! Use middle scales to increase the damage of Senate Blade. Wait, why are you guys? Are they gonna make out? They're staring at each other. They're staring at each other very lovingly. Right click. Block protects from block. Oh, so the scales are just. Oh, there's zero too. I like that. I keep my armor, right? Or I keep my hand, right? I don't throw it away, do I? Let's get rid of the leech collector. Oh, I do throw it away. No! Keep some block for the next round. Inject curse card. No! Negate strain. Kill him! No! Kill him! I saw a block, right? Do I have any block? No, I do not. If it remains in hand, suffer one damage at the end of your turn. Unblockable. Oh, that's not too bad. The animation is still freaking cool, dude. There we go. Dead. Can I get a heal? Where's that heal card? There it is. Oh, I gotta use a scale. No! How could this happen to me? So it's just a random card. Force a two round cooldown on the current intent. Nailed when drawn. A nailed card stays in your hand. Oh! Enemy abilities are called intent. Draw. Holy moly. Yeah, that works. Because charge is three. Does that mean. Does that mean I can only use it three times and that's it? Like the card just disappears forever? Or three turns, like three times for that? You know what I mean? Like three times for that battle. So that trinket. Every time you exhaust a card, receive three healing. Uses per chamber, too. Oh, there you go. Enables travel to the Candle Sanctum. The Candle Sanctum is a secret place somewhere in the sewers. Okay. Weakening. Damage reduced by 3%. Extra potion. Damage. Oh. Win three chambers and stuff. So I can go here, here, and here. Or these are like, I guess, elite bosses, probably. Let's go with the weakening. I know that I'm weaker, but he's a mugger. Returns the first damage to its dealer. Oh yeah. Okay. Right click on the scale card to activate the crystal glass. There we go. That was awesome. Five block for assault. Eight and blind draw. Cannot see the draw pile while under the effects of blind draw. Huh. I could probably get rid of him. I could have. I didn't want to use all of that. But okay, cool. Thanks, game.
Corrupt Spirit. You receive 50% less healing while under the effect of Corrupt Spirit. Hmm. <coughs> Gotta try and get rid of this guy. Oh! Instead, you'll just attack me. Okay, heard. I'm trying to get rid of this guy. I'm trying my best to get rid of this guy. Eight and blind draw. Find mugger. I'm fine with leeches, that's fine. I still have 8 blocks, so let's just go full on attack. Fireball! Fireball! God, this is... Exhausting. Oh, it's unusable now. Oh, just kidding. How could this happen to me? There he is, dead now. Choose a card. Oh, I get to choose a card this time. Yay, finally. I guess last time was like training, so I guess I didn't get to choose it. Gain seven block and gain shuffle back. Then your turn, or then your round cards in your hand will be discarded into your draw pile. You have total damage equal to 20% of your missing health, currently one damage. Uh, deal three damage. Each greater than one energy card in your deck decreases the damage by two. Unblockable. Do I have anything like that? Let's do this one. Which is a really good one. Let's collect the potion. Let's card, next card, and draw that many. Okay. Let's go to the normal one. How do I use potions and stuff? Showcase their actual intent. Their intent will be played after you end the round. Red candles will be used to purchase unlocks in the collections panel. Max 10. There's my potion right there. Interesting. Corrupt. Oh god. Holy shield. Absorbs 12 damage. Increases strength every round. Modifies damage. So I should probably try to get rid of him as fast as possible. So let's do that. Let's, um... Get that. So that's free healing, basically. Yeah, try and get rid of him as quick as possible. Um, okay, disable the one I already used, so we're good. 10 damage. Heard. I still get 8 passed over, that's why I did that. Decreased draw. Ooh, yeah, I need to get rid of this guy. Acid? But for 2 unblockable damage. Oh, okay, let's counter him. Heal for 10? No! Get rid of him. Get rid of him now. Oh, I need to send it to play to them. Yes, there it is! Wait! You little bugger. Someone threw a... Someone threw a glitch in the Matrix. They can pick him up like that. Interesting. Gain four block. Gain four additional block if you haven't gained block from a card during the previous round. Increase retaining block by one. Deal zero to damage. Each draw increases its damage by three. Interesting. 
Interesting. Hi, buddy. I don't hurt. They don't hurt me. Okay. Little creepy. Little creepy. <laughs> filth. Receive two filth cards if attacked with a card. Siphon. Damage deals the latest buff. Reflect for self. Yay. Jester and pure collector. Okay. This is going to be a fun one. Let's go and set ourselves up, shall we? <laughs> Steel card! Oh god, he is good. Can I get rid of this thing? Oh, that's right, he got reflected, you jerk. They oh, he stole my Senate Blade? Oh, he's a jerk. Vulnerable. Chester. Um. go there we go got my card back choose a card reshuffle your draw pile on the next round draw from your discard pile nailed when drawn apply names to strength to the target discard one card exhaust i still like this thing i'm gonna keep holding that one right there but trinket when dealing even health damage gain one block oh trinkets can make or break a run pay attention to the effects they have nice the toy chariot allows you to celebrate that on each new floor the goods of the traders are renewed. But I only got two runs, right? I can, yeah. Hi, Margaret. Hi, Ing Ingward. What is it called? Blood? Maximum cards in internal values for the chamber's duration. Steal the latest buff from target. Deal six damage. Unblockable. Apply three warm light. Next round, gain two additional uh, energy. Oh, when charged up, deals four damage to each enemy. Unused energy charges it up. Nail a card. Discard X cards and draw that many. That's a potion. That's a trinket. Margaret likes gold. When an enemy dies, draw two cards. Ooh. When charged up, it negates a debuff. Increase your hanging block. Ooh. Suffer two to four damage, gain two energy, and throw three cards. Maximize apply two strength. Next round. Oh, so he has all the things. Deal seven damage to all enemies. Ooh, cleave. Deal seven damage. Two times overkill damage will be dealt to all enemies. I'm gonna buy that, and I'm gonna buy. I think. 
I like the tombstone, but I also like the shell. I'm gonna buy a tombstone. Just because it's gonna keep like rotating me, cards in and out. Margaret, come closer, sweetie. Always a pleasure serving the royal guards. No luck yet. Hats keep trying. I'll find a cure. Okay, well, that's that. Let's uh, get into sundown. Grown over the card, weakening of the card. Damage reduced by 30. Two minute timer. Extra gold. After clearing this chamber, get a random debuff. So I have to be quick. Your time is ticking. Okay, well let's let's get let's get rolling right away then. Uh, fireball. Let's see. Lumen strength. Lumen strength. Oh god. Okay. I, I got to I got to roll. Huge draw. Two seconds. Damn. Okay. Fireball. Slash. Mage shield. And disable ran trinket. Disable that one. Damn. Oh my god. Really? Please. Middle skills. Gotta be quick, dude. Gotta be quicker than that. Uh, that one. That one. Senate Blade should kill this guy. There it is. Deal 3 damage applies to vulnerable. Deal 10 to 14 damage. Will devour lays a buff. Needs one buff to be used. For every 4 rounds, the target suffers 2 damage every time a card is used. Remove the latest debuff. I have a vulnerable, honestly. Undying can only be killed by damage. Holy shield, undying can only be killed by. Fireball damage. Okay, so you're gonna be killed by fireball damage. I probably need to get rid of this guy in the middle first. <sighs> Exhaust the card. Um, probably get the with the fryer first. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> Let the card to exhaust for the chamber's duration. Of course, we would choose these two. A lullaby for self? So much damage. Lullaby for Friar. Counter her. I want to heal, but I can't. Fireball Friar. Please. Why are they trying? Why do you try and take my heal? Dude, why are they trying to take, why are they trying to take my heal? Oh, 
telling you, man. There we go. I'm not attacking with that though. I'm attacking with fire. I should hit with a strike uh, and then did that. Just got right on the top of your drop pile. Deal six damage. If it kills the target, loot three gold. Oh. Deal six damage. Deal additional four damage to the target. is affected by acid. Apply three acid. Deal. How many chambers are beat? One, two. Might be in two. Crap. Seven, seven, so that's fourteen, then steel card. Okay. Alright, well, let's do that, do that, and then let's hit Jester with that. Dude, he always steals a Senate Blade. That's the second time he's stealing it. Oh, he's stolen it. Stealing it, stolen it. Nothing. I'm okay with nothing. I'm trying to keep blocking this round, but I'm also getting my ass kicked right now. So, shove it. Thank you. Card. Um, uh, I'll do that because of the uh, effect. But trinket, when you have six cards in your hand, draw one additional card. Oh. Huh. Two, three, four. Wait, why can't I? Interesting. Oh, because this is an event, I think. Oh, it's a boss! Attack, stun, attack, stun. 
Oh, apparently he gets quicker. Oh, if my acid is greater than five, so if his acid gets above five, he gets. I guess he gets stronger. Did he stun me? Okay, so he's stunned. Okay, I'm making sure. Oh, I'm stunned. That's what I was worried about. It made it seem like he was stunned. <laughs> I don't know why it's inactive now, but... Got real strong, real quick. He got real strong, real. Quick. I need that card back. Oh no, he's gonna stun me now. is can I finish them? Yeah, I do. Godly. I got him halfway. That's the highest, right? I wonder why his intense go inactive. I don't know what the deal is about that, you know what I mean? Ooh. Oh, wait. Well, uh, wait, I can change classes? Wait, I can change classes? Apparently, I can change classes. Because there's Warrior, Priest, Mage, Thief, Curse. Or are those just the things that come along? Oh no, look! Something's going on here. Unlockables.
Win a health with only one health remaining. Kill two enemies at the same time. Make an enemy kill itself. Have eight curse cards. Lose health at every chamber. Find Marcus Cat somewhere in the chamber. You see, it says warrior. Don't block in the first round of every chamber. Deal one, uh, deal eleven or more damage with the warrior card. Use heal while warm light. Yeah, I guess these cards like have different classes to associate to them. I don't know. Interesting. <laughs>